and welcome to our Wednesday Reflection from the Horwich and Rivington team. There is a song from several years ago that states, love is all around. We don't always feel the love around us and often see only the hate. Our reading is taken from the Song of Solomon, which is most definitely a love story. So this is our reading from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 8 to 13. Listen, my beloved, look, here he comes, leaping across the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattice. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. The Song of Solomon, or as it is also known by its Hebrew title, the Song of Songs, is a love story between a man and a woman. It is often viewed in the context of sexual love. But in previous centuries, both Christian and Jewish interpreters viewed it as the mutual love of God and Israel or Christ and the Church. This passage is the only passage from Song of Solomon that is included in the Revised Common Lectionary, which is the guide clergy use for weekly and daily readings. The imagery in this passage is beautiful, with the woman speaking to describe her beloved as a gazelle leaping over mountains, and the man speaks with the lovely words, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away, for now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come. In this book, the lovers only have eyes for each other, and this is a love marked by love and fidelity. They are neither shy or reticent. She loves him, and he loves her. There are frequent references in the whole book to nature, relating and understanding God's creation. He created everything, including the animals and the people. The love between two people can often be visible. We all know people who have been together <clears throat> for a long time and are devoted to each other. Their eyes light up when they meet after being apart. There is such tenderness between them that everyone can feel the love between. Couples in a happy marriage will tell you that there is nothing like it. And one, once the one partner dies, the, the partner remaining never feels like a whole person again. There are many different kinds of love. And of course, we have the love Christ has for all of us an unconditional love that is never ending, a love that is one of compassion and kindness, a love that is open and available to us all, even when we've done wrong. No matter how many times we walk away from Christ or do wrong things, Christ will never turn his back on us. All are welcomed back. Just think about the different types of love that there is around us. The love of a mother for her child. The love of siblings for each other. The love of friends. There are many, many different sorts of love which are deep and long-standing without being sexual. Think about the love for others that raises money for charity. The love that makes people give so generously for the Afghan refugees fleeing their country. The love that helps in disasters with clothing, food and money. We have seen a lot of love in our communities over the last 18 months 
where people have just got on with what they're doing and helped those who can't help themselves. Looking at um, a Bible, a couple of Bible verses from 1 Corinthians 13, starting at verse 4, it says, Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians 13 is often chosen as the reading for weddings. Love is about giving, being compassionate, being kind, and being tolerant. It is wanting the best for the person you love. I'm not just talking about the love in our Song of Solomon's reading, but also the love for our fellow man and God's world in general. Today we often see love being distorted, abused and taken for granted. Where the supposed love for men and women is distorted and results in abuse. We have women's shelters to protect women and their children from domestic violence. We have human sex trafficking, women and men trafficked as slaves. The drug trade where men, women and children are given drugs to make them work for the dealers. Women around the globe are kidnapped, raped and disrespected. And if that's your life, there doesn't seem to be much love in it. If everyone spent more time loving our fellow men and women, our world would be a much kinder place. There is much kindness and love in our world, but the press and social media often only publish the bad stuff. People become accustomed to violence and hate, and then it seems to be the norm. So let's just stop and look for love, tolerance and compassion around us. If you look around, there is plenty of it. Let us keep the love in our lives and spread it around. Amen. Let us pray. Father, help us all to spread the love of Christ around to everyone we meet. Help us to look after each other and the wonderful planet you created. Help us to feel the love and create more. We open our hearts to the Afghan people who have been able to get to the UK in the past few days. We pray that they will be made welcome wherever they settle here. Our prayers are also with those many people who were not able to get out of their country and we pray that they will be safe. We pray also for areas of conflict around the world where people aren't safe and would do anything to get a loving, kind, compassionate life. Amen.